Okay then gang, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use an external style sheet for our views or layouts and also how to use images in our projects because at the minute we're placing all of the styles right in here inside the layout itself. It would be nice to have an external style sheet and link to that from here. Now if we're just adding vanilla CSS files or vanilla JavaScript to the front end of our project, we can just add those files inside the public directory right here. This is the folder that is going to be made public to the browser on the front end. So any raw CSS style sheets, vanilla JavaScript or final images that we use would go inside this folder right here. And that way the HTML page in the browser is going to have access to them. Now later on, I will also show you how to use SAS and compile that down into CSS. But for now, let's stick to plain CSS. So first of all, then let's go into the public folder and create a new folder called CSS. And then inside that, we're going to create a new file called main.css. And what I'll do first of all is go to the layout file where we declare all of these styles, copy or rather cut all of this stuff and paste it inside main.css. Now we need to link to that from the layout. So let me delete those style tags and do a link tag instead. And this link tag has an href attribute, which is going to be equal to forward slash. And then we go into the CSS folder and then forward slash main.css. So we don't say forward slash public, the public folder, everything inside it is made available to the browser at root level. So we just say forward slash CSS to go into the CSS folder, forward slash main to get the file. Okay, so let's say rel is equal to style sheet, like so. Okay, so if we save this now, everything still should work the same. So I'm gonna hard refresh just so it reloads the CSS and I think the server has dropped off. So let me open up the terminal and scoot this up. And what I'll do is say PHP artisan serve again, just so it springs up that development server. And now if I hard refresh, everything still looks fine. Let me go to forward slash pizzas and everything still looks the same there. So all we've done is taken the styles out of the layout file and into an external style sheet. And that goes inside the public folder. So now we could add some extra styles to this if we wanted to. But what I'm going to do, first of all, is show you how to add images to our project as well. So let me just slide across this folder because over here I've got a couple of pictures I'm going to use in this project. I'm just going to grab one of them, first of all, and drag it into the public folder. But before I do that, let me create a new folder called IMG. So we put all of our images inside that folder. Then if I open this again, I'm going to drag Pizza House into this image folder. Now I got this from Adobe stock and I'll leave a link to that exact image down below, but you can use your own image if you want. It's really not important. So now we have that image inside this folder. I can go ahead and use it inside one of our views. So if I go to the welcome screen over here, I could use it inside here and we'd use it just as we would a normal image in an HTML file. So what I'm going to do is get rid of where it says pizza house here because it says it in the image now and above this div, I'm going to create an image tag. So IMG and the source is going to be equal to forward slash IMG to go into the images folder, which is that thing right here and then forward slash pizza hyphen house dot PNG. We'll also give this an alt attribute and we'll just say that this is the pizza house logo. All right. So that now we have the image. If we save it and go to the home screen, the welcome screen, press enter. Now we can see this thing right here. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is also take off all of those links because I don't think we need those on the home screen anymore. And I also want to just apply a few different styles to the title over here as well, just to make it a little bit smaller, change the color that kind of thing. So let's go to the main.css file to do that and create a new title rule. And we did that because that is the class. If we go to welcome of this thing right here. Okay. So let's create that rule. And in fact, I think we might already have a title rule up here. Yep, we do. So let's just cut that and let's paste it at the bottom down here so we can work on it. 
and the font size we're going to make smaller we'll make it about 50 pixels and then after that we'll say text transform and that is going to be upper case so it's all capitals then we'll say border hyphen bottom and we'll say that's two pixels and it's going to be solid i'm also going to say the padding is going to be 12 pixels top and bottom zero left and right and then finally a color and i'm just going to copy this color from my github repo and paste it in right here and that is going to be kind of like a purple color to match the image so now we've done that let's go back here and refresh and that is looking a bit better now so there we go my friend that's how we can add some external css and images to our project